Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector and never. Last Friday, the Defense Acquisition Council has decided to scrap some of the major defense deals under the Buy Global category which includes foreign vendors. Under the Buy Global category, procurement is done directly from the foreign original equipment manufacturer. However, it will not impact deals already inked under Buy Global route, those being pursued under the government to government route and the foreign military sales route with US. Foreign vendors also have option to make in India under strategic partnership with Indian vendors. In today's video, we will discuss in detail about all those important defense deal that will be either foreclosed or deferred to push for Make in India initiative. We will also talk about the deals which will not be affected by this. The foreclosure and deferment list includes very short range air defense system Pishorat, towed artillery guns, vertically launched surface to air missiles, ship borne unmanned aerial system, additional PATIs, and MiG 29s. Indian Army alone needs 5,175 Vishwarad missiles and 800 launcher systems. The figure could easily touch 6,000 missiles and 900 to 1,000 launchers by adding the Indian Air Force requirement. Igla S of Russia was the choice of Indian Army for the Vishwarad missiles which will be now not procured and the preference will be given to DRDO's man pad under development. As far as stored artillery is concerned, there were two prominent contenders, Israel's Ethos and DRDO's ETAGS. With the new move of government, Ethos will be out of question and ETAGS becomes the top contender. At present, ETAGS is undergoing trials by Indian Army. At present, India doesn't have the aircraft integrated with sensors and avionics similar to PATI Maritime Reconnaissance and Surveillance Aircraft. The additional order of 6 PATIs has now also put under this category which is really concerning as it's much needed aircraft for Indian Navy to keep a check on Chinese submarines and warships. It will take at least 4 to 5 years for DRDO to develop a platform similar to it. As we know that DAC has approved for 21 MiG-29s for Indian Air Force which might as well get foreclosed. The 14 medium lift helicopters to be procured from Airbus for Indian Coast Guard will also get cancelled and the preference will be given to HL's Naval Utility Helicopter. Apart from these, there are deals worth Rs 50,000 crore under scrutiny and soon decision will be made on their future. These include the general purpose machine gun, Kamovka 226 helicopters, Kamov 31 ship bone choppers and club class anti-ship missiles. DAC has however allowed the armed forces to go ahead with French air to ground missile hammer and overhaul of Russian helicopters. Overall we can say it is the boldest and major push towards indigenization in defense sector which has been taken by the government. Besides, the defense ministry has also approved proposal worth Rs.